1970s, Formula One was a little bit of a circus act. Fun, girls to die for. The Grand Prix driver, the epitome of everything a kid wanted to be. From the drivers to the mechanics to the wives of the girlfriends, the camaraderie was very deep. Safety wasn't even an issue. A designer's first requirement is to make it fast. The racetracks hadn't changed, the medical facilities hadn't changed, and suddenly the cars were going almost twice as fast. I jumped out the cot. I remember then trying to get his belts and then just turned around and I knew it was all over. Those cars were all effectively a mobile bomb. And the FIA, they'd say, well, if you think motor racing is dangerous, slow down a bit, don't drive so fast. I thought, I cannot believe that a world sport is run like this. I think they thought we were gladiators. They were blind to the reality. They didn't know those drivers. They didn't know the drivers' wives and fathers and mothers. It was a nightmare. We had to fight with the organizer, I mean, really fight. The public doesn't want to see these heroes dying on television. Something needed to be done. The attitude changed. The actual team mechanics were bolting barriers together. It was the seminal changing point in Formula One. Whatever is happening to a car, there should be no reason to die in a car. It's almost like you have control of the danger. That's why it's such a fantastic sport. It pioneers the evolution of the car and going faster. We are world champions! World champions! Of a hunky six foot three, am I guessing? F1 drop. What? Manual or automatic? Uh, manual. Boobs or bum? 